Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are at the Heart Valve Summit. I'm thrilled to be with Dr. Mark Gillenoff from the Cleveland Clinic. My pleasure. And we're going to be answering your questions that you put up at heartvalveblog.com. This question comes in from Jim. He says, I'm 65 and diagnosed with moderate or aortic stenosis. My question is about minimally invasive surgery. It seems there are a couple different types of minimally invasive surgery. Can you help me understand that better? Sure. When the heart surgeon says we're going to do a minimally invasive operation, Jim is completely right. We're using a broad term and basically minimally invasive or less invasive means anything other than a standard sternotomy, a sternotomy being right down the middle of the entire breastbone. For an aortic valve operation, the most common minimally invasive approach is going to be what we call a partial sternotomy, where we make an incision maybe about this big, three inches, in the upper part of the sternum, so we still go through part of the bone. In some cases, you could take a different tact or approach and go through the side, where you go between the ribs. Not too many surgeons do that because we're not sure that there's a big advantage to a small incision oriented this way versus a small incision oriented this way, but that's a, a second option. So if you said minimally invasive aortic valve surgery, what are we talking about? Smaller incision, either partial sternotomy or what we call a small right thoracotomy. And just a follow-up question. Do you, do you always do a minimally invasive procedure or are there times where it warrants still having a full incision along the um, patient's sternum? I think the surgeon's got to be able to do all of the possible approaches mm -hmm. so that you fit the approach in the patient. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to be, if you're the surgeon, a little bit like that guy in the shoe store who comes out with three, four, or five boxes and is going to figure out which pair of shoes is exactly the right fit for you. You don't want to walk out with something that's uncomfortable or doesn't fit, and in surgery it's a lot more serious, you don't want to leave with something that is unsafe yeah. or less effective. So yeah, there will be people who get a regular sternotomy incision. They do fine. Turn on the TV, David Letterman, Bill Clinton, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Regular incisions, they're all medically doing A-OK. -okay. How do you decide what's best for a person? You look at all the preoperative tests, you figure out what is the surgical mission, and then where do safety and effectiveness lie? And then you choose safest and effective and recommend that. Great. Well, Jim, I hope that helped you uh, learn more about minimally invasive approaches. Dr. Gillenov, as always, I want to thank you for the support and the contribution to our website, really. I know there's a lot of viewers out there who you've touched their lives and their hearts, and I just want to thank you for what you're doing at the Cleveland Clinic. Oh, we thank you. I see patients walking around with your book, <laughs> and I see them with their iPads and their computers on your website, and what you're doing is you're making them feel better, yeah. and uh, that counts. Great. Well, thanks so much. My pleasure.